All right, guys, it is time for the battle of these two Titans right here. We got the JBL Go 3 and the JBL Go 4. This is hot off the freaking skillet from JBL. And we're going to be talking about it today on New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. It is time to get rid of the JBL Go 3 because it is out of here, Richardson. <laughs> Because look, man, the JBL Go 4 is here and it is all around a better speaker in every facet. Man, JBL, you did a good job, man. Look, I I got to give it where it's due. Like when companies, you know, come out with a new product that supersedes its previous year or previous product, a lot of times, man, it's just a couple of incremental updates. But this right here between the JBL Go 4 and the JBL Clip 5, JBL has completely just done everything much better. And it makes it well worth the upgrade if that's something you're thinking about or even buying for the first time. But let's just go ahead and get into this, man. As you can see, they are pretty much the same size, okay? It's like they, they took the same shell, but they just, you know, kind of hooked up the new shell with some extra goodies, such as a more robust outer coating. So, because if you look here, look at this. All right, so this is the JBL, you know, let me put them here in consecutive order. JBL Go 3, JBL Go 4. All right, so if you look at the top, you see a little bit more neoprene here with the JBL Go 4, right? That way you don't tear up as much fabric if you're gonna be brushing it up against concrete or something like that or if you drop it. So it's a little bit more rugged on the top side. On the front side of things, they've given it a more premium treatment. I always wondered this. When you look at the other speakers in this particular series where the uh, JBL Go 3 comes from, it did not have this orange outline on the, the front letters. And it's, I mean, it looks fine until this one shows up and this one just looks more premium because it's got that two-tone coloring right there. So that's just a premium upgrade that you get. Flip it over to the bottom and this is where things get really interesting. If you look here, you do not have these little silicone strips. Now on this one, I didn't use the Go 3 that much because I just wasn't that much of a fan of it. I actually preferred the uh, the Clip 4 over the, uh, the Go 3 uh, with this particular uh, series that they launched uh, because it just sounded better. It, it was just more, you know, like it was just better for like commuting and clipping on something because it's a clip. But in the in the conversation of the Go 3, we have these strips right here. Right. And this is on all of the most current or the uh, I would say the last generation of JBL speakers, these strips. And people are heavily annoyed by this because they do come off once they get a little older. I don't know what makes them come off, whether it's like friction or whether it's just the glue, you know, just losing its, you know, glueness or whatever. But we're not dealing with that anymore because we have a straight up neoprene pad right here that goes all the way around to the other side. So you got one side right here with the with this button layout. And then it just smooth goes right over to the bottom of this thing. Whereas on, let's let's do this the right way. Let's let's compare them the right way. So let me. Uh oh, okay. So they've done some things in reverse. We got the tops right, and then if you flip it over to the bottom, if you go around to this side, you got your your power panel with your Bluetooth button and your AuraCast button, which is new by the way. But if you go back to the old one on the JBL Go Three, it's the power button side with the lanyard side or loop side. But if we go over to the opposite side, you see it just switched it up again. So now on the Go 4, we have the uh, the charging side here. But on the Go 3, we have the power Bluetooth button and it's just a logo. Go 4. There's no AuraCast and there's no connectivity. There is no connectivity on the smaller speakers, whether it be the Go 3 or the, uh, the Clip. It's the Clip. Yeah, the Clip 4. Uh, I keep getting these confused. Go, go, go three, clip four, go four, clip five. Yeah. Anyways, between the go three and go, or the go three and the clip four, there's no connectivity, man. You can't pair these up with any other speakers and there's no app connectivity. But if you look right here, this AuraCast button does it all, man. This is actually gonna let this join up and talk to your other JBL speakers, as well as stereo pair with an identical JBL Go 4. And if you wanna open up the app, you can do that as well because this thing is app connected. But before we get into that app and show you, I gotta talk about some other differences. So if you look on the front here, you'll see the loops are on the opposite sides too. And on this one, the loop is actually on the actual side on the Go 3. But if you look on the Go 4, it's just hanging around at the top right hand corner. Um, 
I would say as far as like durability or robustness, I would give them a dead tie, man. There's no difference between the two other than just, you know, physical aesthetics. I think they're both very durable. Don't see any problems happening there. Uh, they both have just a little bit of give. So, you know, you're good there on the little loop if that's something that you were using. But the big difference here, two big differences. One of them is this, the actual backside of it. This is what I hate about the Go 3. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Some people said it was a passive radiator. I call BS on that. Some people said, I don't know what people say, but what I'm saying is it ain't supposed to be here. This is, <laughs> this is supposed to be an up firing speaker. So if you up, if you forward fire it, just like it, it's set up to be on the feet right here, it'll forward fire. But if you're sitting on that side and you're getting closer to it, you're up firing, and this is such a small speaker, now you're gonna wanna flip it up this way so you can now listen to your music because it'll be firing up at you. But as you turn this thing on and start playing music, it'll start vibrating across the table and it'll eventually fall off the table. It was cute when I did it at first because I was like, man, this thing is banging, but no, it's not cute when your speaker falls off the table. This right here on the backside, JBL has learned their lesson. They put two silicone strips right here and they are inset and they are not going to uh, peel off like these will. And they're just gonna hang out there. And now this thing is gonna be stable and you can use it as an up firing speaker or a, fo <laughs> or a forward firing speaker. But now it's time to dive into the app real quick. So I'll just throw it up right there. That way you can kind of just walk through it with me. It's not much, man. It's just one page, looks real clean. You can do a couple things here. You have a JBL signature sound, okay? That's where I would suggest you keep it. And then you've got chill preset, energetic vocal, and a five band customizable EQ, which is super clutch. But to be honest, it's a very small speaker with a small driver. You can EQ it all you want to, man. It's, it's, it's that big, you know what I'm saying? Like. It is what it is. <laughs> then you got this playtime boost. So the JBL Go 4 only has five hours worth of playtime. That's the max you're going to get out of this thing. But because of what JBL is doing in their lab, they actually gave you an additional two hours of playtime on the JBL Go 4. So you now have, an, uh, you now have a solid uh, up to seven hours of playtime on this. So if you use this playtime boost, what it does is suck out all of the bass from your music, right? It sucks out all the body, but it's still playing and it still sounds quality. It's just not as full and rich, right? But it actually boosts the sound as well. But it's also gonna give you uh, more longevity in your playtime so you can get closer to that up to seven hours. Then you can actually go into here and stereo group your speakers. So right there, you can see where I have JBL Go 4. And what you do is if you have an identical JBL Go 4, well, not identical in color, but it's the same model. You gotta have a JBL Go 4, right? You can stereo pair these bad boys. Just have one over here, one over there, boom, stereo. Or you can just Auracast connect them with a hundred or up to a hundred other JBL speakers that actually do have that function. So yeah, that's definitely a one up on the JBL Go 3. Now, as far as aesthetics and functionality, this right here, this pad on the back, trading it out for these silicone strips and the more rugged, robust exterior, that's about all you're gonna get as far as like capability and aesthetics, right? And then you got your software features such as AuraCast and app connectivity and the EQ and stuff like that. That's all very welcome and a big improvement. But the biggest improvement is the sound over this uh, JBL Go 3. The sound improvement is huge. And that's where we're going to next. So let's just cut to that part of the video and y'all can tell me what y'all think. <laughs>
See, man, I told you this JBL Go 4 is no joke, man. This thing is a little beast. Oh, man, it in my opinion, sitting here listening to both of them, it completely obliterates its younger brother or older brother, whatever you want to call it, the JBL Go 3. So if, you know, if you're like heavily invested in the JBL Go series and you just like these speakers, and you're looking to choose between one or the other, I would say definitely go with the JBL Go 4. You will be a much happier person, okay? Like this is, you cannot go wrong. If you're looking to upgrade, maybe your, you know, your skid pads have fallen off, or maybe you're just sick of looking at it, right? And you're thinking, should I get the JBL Go 4? I say, yes, get the JBL Go 4. Like, let's just get this thing out of here, man. This is where it's at. The JBL Go 4 is the new kid on the block from JBL, and it, completely obliterates the JBL Go 3. That was the comparison. Like, I got nothing else left for you, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> it is what it is. It's just a better speaker. Now, y'all keep being good to each other, and I'll see you when I see you.